Hi everyone, my name is Mike Sherry. I'm with Paul Sherry RVs. Today I'm featuring a brand new, this is a 2021, but listen to me carefully, this is a 2021 and a half, meaning this is what the 2022s are gonna look like. So this is all new 2000. 21 and a half Keystone Outback. This is the 341 rear den floor plan. I'm going to show you around the outside and then jump to the inside of this Outback, showing you the many features that makes this a premium travel trailer and also pointing out the differences that the, they've done for the 2021 and a half. This travel trailer is a robust travel trailer. It, it's going to be a travel trailer they're going to spend an extended period of time in. Uh, it's it's not a half ton towable travel trailer by any means, weighing just under 8,500 pounds and with three slide outs. This is going to provide you with a lot of comfort, but it is going to be a little heavier than your half ton towable travel trailer. The Outbacks are a premium constructed travel trailer and it all starts with the front end here. This is a one piece capped front end. You can see it molds all the way on around the side. That's going to keep the nose of this trailer really nice and tight. It has built in LED light strips. Uh, that provides light when you're at your campground, maybe at night, really points out your camper and it makes it stick out in the campground. Also, if you're unhooking or hooking up in the dark, it's going to provide some, some light so you can see. Painted exterior front end. The bottom portion of this uh, cap is actually like a material that they line the beds of pickup trucks with. So if you would happen to uh, knock something up, maybe a rock flips up from a semi going down the interstate, it's going to protect the front end of this travel trailer. Now an option on this trailer is the BAL 7.3 auto leveling system, which this has. So when you are shopping for Outbacks and you notice differences in pricing, make sure it has not the 5.1 but the 7.3 leveling system. What this does, this actually levels the travel trailer where the 5.1 is a stabilizing system is gonna be the difference. Both are fine, but if you're looking for the leveling system, you want the BAL 7.3. What's beautiful about both systems is both systems are produced by BAL, which is the same manufacturer of the frame. So it really joins together very nicely. Two slides on this side, we have good ample storage here. The storage compartments are held up by a magnetic catch, so you can literally do it with one hand as I'm doing now. And they lock with these two twist locks there. Inside this, inside this compartment is just your cable and satellite hookup. That's going to be your input. And then inside this compartment is what they call your docking station. This will have an outside shower with hot and cold water. And also this is where you hook up your fresh water or it also has a black tank flush. So your black tank is going to be your toilet tank, your poop tank, so you can hook a garden hose up to that and that's gonna put water inside that black tank to flush it out. Nice alloy wheels on this. Here's your second slide room on this side. Notice the tented windows that's gonna keep the UV rays from getting inside the trailer and heating it up and also providing some privacy. All new for the 2021 and a half, how you're gonna be able to tell them apart on the outside is the gold and the graphics compared to the blue. As a ladder to get up onto the roof, this is a 50 amp uh, supply travel trailer. All of the premium Outbacks are gonna be, you can get into the ultralight Outbacks, which are not, uh, but all the premium ones will be 50 amp and wired for second air. Has a slide out on this side, one, power awning up here and here's one of the pieces to that leveling system there's another one behind the other rear tire and then the front tongue, tongue jack is your three points of leveling and then there's four points of, of uh, uh, sway control there stabilizing control excuse me another new feature here is this pull out tray this is going to be in your front outside compartment pulls out very nicely so you can get to what's actually in the back of that compartment makes that nice and convenient something we we've seen in big class a motorhomes over the years but not too much in travel trailers also has uh, the battery disconnect there and it is prepped for solar panels to be added has a nice solid step by Lippert to get up in and a big grab handle. Now again, this is the 341RD. It does have the Arctic Barrier 
The Outbacks are a premium insulated travel trailer. The walls are going to be thicker uh, than what you typically find. It's insulated underbelly and heated as that sticker just said. So if you are going to camp in this in cooler weather, uh, you're going to be able to do this better than you are in other competing brands. As we walk in, we walk into an open concept floor plan. Living rooms in the rearmost of the trailer. Kitchen is right here, has a booth on one side, and there is a stool that goes on this side. I'll show you when we get up uh, to where I have it stored in the front closet. Uh, solid surface countertops here, nice thick countertop as well. Uh, allows you to have this sunk down end stainless steel sink. Now, this device here is in the plastic wrapping, but what this is going to do, this is going to go over the sink. Not sure if I can do this with one hand, but I'm going to attempt it. So this will go over the sink and you can put your hot pan on that. Up top here it has a nice microwave. Solid wood door. And solid wood drawer fronts here. Metal roller glided drawers and they're full depth drawers so you can get to the back of the drawer on all those. It does have the big oven. It's the Furion oven with a glass door in it. So you can fit some bigger items in there. And then I love this option here. It has the pull-out drawer for your pots and pans, just similar to what you would have at home. And then also a built-in pantry for your canned goods here. A lot of storage in this. This has the low-profile uh, vent for the range here. Uh, so it's not going to intrude so much of this space right here. The glass cover for the stove top. It's three burners and gas does have the backsplash all throughout the kitchen here so it's going to be easy to keep clean it does have the eight cubic foot dometic rv dual mode refrigerator in this to keep your food cool at all times while traveling and while at your campground all right onto the living space here it has uh theater seats here these are going to recline um get the recline up there we go it's a thomas Payne furniture which is more of a residential furniture company uh, really makes high-end furniture for rvs and then here we have two couches in this space uh, in addition to that theater seat these couches are going to be tri-fold sleeper sofas come out to a sleeper sofa about the size of a queen bed and they're super comfortable you're sleeping on about six inches of memory foam there's two of them both can come out Really big fireplace here. It's gonna create a nice ambience in this space and also provide heat when needed. And a giant television in here. It's a Jensen television. Uh, it pairs very nicely with the Jensen radio, all name brand electronics in this. That radio is also a DVD player, Bluetooth ready, has all the, all the latest features there. Blackout shades on all the windows. They're truly black and they're easy up and easy down. It provides nice privacy and also provides a good uh, good block from the sun so you can sleep in in the morning. has the radial roof on this, so this is going to increase the interior height of the ceiling and also provide that less boxy-like feel. Coming up to the front of the trailer, here's the entry door off to our right. And as we walk up, we have our bathroom off to the left. The bathroom is accessible from the bedroom is what's through that door has the glass surround around the shower so no shower curtain needed black stainless shower uh, hardware here has a skylight in there sink with electricity nearby for the hair dryers medicine cabinet that's mirrored and then spots for all that toilet paper that you bought during covid uh, you can put in this nice uh, laundry closet there Foot flush stool coming out of the bathroom. And before we get to the bedroom is your control panel. Above it is your heating and air conditioning control. And down here is your main control panel. This will tell you the levels of your tanks. Turn on your water heater. The water heater on this is a dual mode water heater, meaning you can use it on one mode, which would be electric, or the other mode would be LP gas. Ceiling light control, awning controls, uh, all in here. Uh, and then there's three slide out controls there. Coming into the bedroom, bedroom does have a solid door to get in there. And it has 
a bed slide, which gives you a lot of room in here. This is a king size bed. New Leno for this year, for the 2020 and a halfs. Does have the nice wardrobe down here, chest of drawers. And then hanging closet up here with a light in it, which I really appreciate. A lot of these I do videos on, there's no light, so you can't see what's in the closet. This is the stool, I've got it upside down, but that goes on the other end of the dinette. And then through here is more shelving space, but what they've added for the 2020 and a half is a washer dryer prep, meaning it's got plumbing and appropriate power for a combo washer dryer machine. That's hard to find in a travel trailer. So this is the all new Outback 341 RD 2021 and a half. I'm gonna get used to saying that. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, I'm gonna post links below of how to contact a salesperson here. Uh, that'll be to answer that for you. And as always, thanks for watching our videos. Thanks for the comments and have a great, awesome, spectacular rest of your day.